Welcome back YouTube. In the last episode we found the stronghold. And in this episode, I think we're going to start on a new project. Uh, one of those things include a little end practice area up in the overworld that is made entirely out of wool. In other news, we are going to try and get some phantom spawning and other happy news, we finally found nether wart. I went to the nether, uh, went hunting for fortresses, for nether wart especially, and yeah, we found this finally. And we can finally start getting potions for the end, which leads me to another point as uh, phantoms. We want phantoms to spawn so we can get phantom membranes. Not only is that helpful in repairing elytras in the future, but phantom membranes also give you potions of slowfall, something we most likely will need in the dragon fight. So yeah. Uh, another thing I did off camera here is that I kind of terraformed this place right here. It doesn't look this good. Like, I, I don't know. I, I'd like to walk up to here now. It's, it's a lot better than what it was. I'll say that for sure. I just don't know how I feel about it just yet. Just yet, of course. Anyway, yep, as we see here, we finally got the warped nylium blocks because this finally enchanted good. Uh, we have a whole lot of nether bricks that we're going to use on our nether hub, which I might show you after this night is over. And if you didn't know, phantom spawn if you don't have a block above your head. So, yeah, we're just kind of going to wait for them. They'll hear their screeching before they even start trying to attack us, that's for sure. But yeah, as you see, mobs are spawning. I spent hopefully a good amount of days uh, in the morning, or in the nether, so that I can have the insomnia mechanic, which, I mean, I guess is good. Is that somebody gonna go after my villagers? I think he is. He's gonna try to. Cause yeah, that's my villager box right there. He's trying to find a way in. I don't think he can though, which, you know, is perfect. So that's nice. Alright, come on, phantoms. I know you're really annoying and want to spawn. So, come on and do it. But yeah, our woolen end project is going to be our first big project and it's going to be before the end as well. So in this chest right here, I have a lot of materials for it. We're probably going to need a little bit more. So, yay. But yeah, another thing we need to do is make a cauldron, get an iron farm started, which will probably be up next episode to be totally honest with you because I don't want to deal with villagers right now. I just kind of want to show off the nether hub and fight some phantoms. I hope they'll spawn. I mean, they should, right? Even if I've been in the nether, it still counts as days, right? That's a lot of endermen. But yeah, I do think the concept for our nether hub is going to be pretty cool. It's going to have uh, the new crying obsidian block and all that, so, yeah, it'll be really cool. Okay, phantoms, you want to spawn? Do they spawn at, like, midnight, or what? Like, do I need to be in the full darkness, or something? Because I spent a lot of days awake. Hmm. Yeah, uh, on other news, our potato and care farms are going good. We just started work on our nether, uh, nether wart farm. 
so that's always nice. And I don't know how I'm gonna farm the uh, nether materials. Because I had an idea of uh, doing it in the nether, where you know, it usually spawns and stuff. So that could be cool. Uh, another couple of things we could use is like striders, because that's an animal we need to breed and all that. And these phantoms just don't want to spawn. You know, we probably should have spent the night at the conservatory so we can hatch uh, some more eggs, get some more, uh, get uh, some turtle scutes, I think they're called, and get a turtle shell helmet, which gives us infinite water breathing, I think, which is helpful for uh, the end, or for the... Just trying to think here. The sea monument, yeah, the sea monument. It's going to be helpful for the sea monument. And we have sharp four of a sword. Jeez. We need to get like some looting or knockback on this then. Hmm. I really did think that these phantoms would spawn. I guess not. Like, come on, phantoms. Oh. I just heard one. There it is. So yeah, phantoms are annoying. You know, they're just flying little brats. They're scared of cats though. So that's nice. I think they're an undead mob, so if we had like smite or something. Ah, okay. But yeah, if we had smite or something, then we could probably easily deal with them. No membrane though. Okay. That yeah, kind of sucks, but all right. Hmm. It's probably gonna stay in the dark here. Hope they spawn and all that. Ah. Okay. Well, that was a creeper that just blew up part of my base. That's. That's always fun. Okay, skeletons. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, at least you didn't blow up anything important, right? Or you know you're gonna be after me. All I just wanted to do was fight some phantoms tonight. And all we got was one. Just another right sword strong. Hmm. So much Enderman out. Like, why? I thought they were a rare mob. But it appears not to be. Huh. Jeez. Like, I've seen more Enderman than I have seen Phantoms tonight. I mean, I guess that also kind of accounts for the fact that uh, phantoms get a lot more deadlier as lights progress and all that, so, oh, hello. Wow, we didn't even get a phantom membrane from them. Huh. That is really strange. Yeah, we see at least like a hundred Endermen. Hmm. Oh, yep, here we go. Here's two of them. No membrane, though. Hey, get back here. Get back here, you have Phantom. Why? 
Because he's gonna burn up soon. No, ho, ho. Get back here. No! Hell. Well. Uh, what next? On to the... On to our nether hub, huh? So as I said, I really like the concept of the nether hub. All that we're going to need now is just to put the idea into blocks, which I think I did pretty fine. But, uh, you know, let me... See what you guys think. I already started placing down a whole bit of blocks. Like, we got the, uh, crying obsidian in, like, a circle-esque thing. And surrounded by, like, cobble walls, we're gonna have, like, uh, netherrack arches leading out into the places. Um... Then, I don't know what the floor is going to be. It might just be like stone or something. But I was also thinking about like maybe putting some farms in here. Like... Jeez. Uh, like the uh, netherrack farm, the vine farms and all that. So... Yeah. Okay, so let's go and do our third project for the day, which is the woolen end. Until we, at least for the main part, either A, run out of blocks, or B. Um, so the next tonight wave comes up and we can fight more phantoms then, which will be fun. Not really. Okay, so I need to enter this chest and here we go. This chest and get all the wool. Let's get all that. And yeah, so these are going to be like the black or the obsidian pillars, while the yellow is obviously meant to represent the sandstone, or the endstone. Obviously we could do like sand or something, but wool is a lot more easier of a resource to collect. So yeah, anyway, uh, honestly I was thinking of doing it right out here like this whole entire area will just be the woolen end farm or the woolen end right here so uh i'm gonna go do this place a whole lot of wool and i'll see you in a little bit okay so uh we have a couple phantoms after us right now. Um, started raining. All that good stuff. No membrane. Sad. Oh, hey, here we go. Nice. Got one. So, yeah. Guess I'm just gonna keep waiting here then. Alright, welcome back to YouTube. Or, I mean, I guess not welcome back. Uh, but yeah, I finished our woolen end. Phase one, I would say. Just phase one. As you can see here, I got the magenta wool for the end crystals and all that. I got these big pillars and all that, so that's fun. Uh, the only thing that I need to add is the iron gates. And, uh, yeah. 
So the final thing that I may want to finish up here is that this will be the place where we put our dragon egg in the woolen end. I think it is very cool to do. And oh yeah, this, that'll be explained next episode. Because uh, yeah, this is recorded after the last episode because I got bored. Or not, no, like this is recorded before. It's just, you know, I'm going to explain this in the next episode. But yeah, I will see you in the next one.